Okay, so we are back with part two for Digimon Adventure Try, talking about the first movie, Reunion. And but um, Alan actually had a question I forgot to mention. What was your question, Alan? Oh yeah. So uh, what is your favorite like Digimon? In terms of uh, yeah, yeah there, there are like so many Digimon out there. Yeah. But I don't know. I've I've always loved Agumon. Like whenever I play the Digimon games, I would just always play Agumon just because. I don't know, I love Agumon. Uh, like, what what form of, like, what, what evolution? Like? What evolution? Do, not counting Omnimon, because that's... Oh, yeah, also because that's a digi Because that's more, yeah. Yeah. You, you could say it counts, but oh, yeah. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Uh, I think, I think Greymon, because Greymon. I think Greymon has, like, a really classic feel. Like, it's it's pretty much, like, just a, a big dragon. It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Metal Greymon... It's cool, but then you have like the hair and then the like the cyborg part. Oh, War Greymon's cool. more humanoid, which oh, yeah. I guess isn't as cool. Mm -hmm. But I guess I like Greymon better than Metal Greymon. But yeah, Greymon. You? Um. Okay. Uh, my favorite Digimon in terms of like its evolution is uh, Garuma, which uh, is my favorite is uh, Metal Garumon. It looks really cool because like yeah. I like the rockets like yeah Metal right, Garumon right? yeah that's my favorite of the group yeah. of Gabumon I mean okay oh, Gabumon yeah it's but it's kind of weird when like where where Garumon is like a human it's basically a humanoid it's like standing and then it, it goes back to a a, a, a quad yeah, yeah. Like, I always thought that was weird because like in, in terms of the show I guess because mm -hmm. I always thought like oh Metal Garumon's ultimate form mm -hmm. Metal Garumon's the mega form mm -hmm. I always thought War Garumon was stronger. Because, like, do you get what I mean? Oh, yeah, War Greymon. Like, I thought Metal Garumon was as strong as Metal Greymon. Oh, yeah, because, I was, like, I was, yeah. yeah, I was confused with that. Like, That's why they call it Metal. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. like, I was always... Because it basically switches for both of them. Like, yeah. I thought that was weird. Well, it's it's War Garumon and War Greymon, right? Is it's, it? Or is it War Garumon? It's, it's War Garumon and then Metal Garumon. Yeah. It's Metal Greymon and then War, War Greymon. War Greymon, yeah. Okay, so, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the story. <laughs> About Digimon Adventure Tribe, so uh, what what do you think, Alan? I think in terms of the plot, how the I I can totally see how the like the characters change, like some like like the most what we see is from Tai or Tai Chi. Uh, he his he grew a lot more mature c compared to other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and then I think. Uh, What's his name? A uh, Matt or Yamato? Yeah, Yamato, yeah. yeah, like he he he's almost the same as before. I think. Yeah, the thing about Ty is he always had like a lot of growth. Like he was that he was always like the the headstrong leader in season one, and in season two, he you could definitely see he started growing more because he had the younger generation and yeah. he had to basically teach them all that stuff. And so you could definitely see how he was growing, and then Agumon grew at the same time. Does Agumon grow? Like, which part did you think Agumon grew? Like, I mean, like, in terms of also having to teach the younger generation, in, in a way. Okay. And then, like, with Black War Greymon, oh, his okay. confrontation with that, like, he always tried to help Black War Greymon in that way. Mm -hmm. So I think he grew in that sense. But Tai, you could always see him growing more and more, and in this, like, years later... He he grew a lot, like you said, and yeah. they did they did a, an interesting thing with Ty because I was thinking the same thing when they brought it up because with because this is about like this is a few years after Digimon season two yeah and in season two Ty and the original cast weren't like the main people helping out like it was the second there it was the new generation yeah. and they kind of helped out and they always wanted to help out more but they just couldn't because of. Because the other generation had like the fusion and all all these things. Oh yeah, the armor armor evolution. Yeah, oh, yes. and you assume after season two that the younger generation still taking over with helping with the digital world and mm -hmm. all these things, mm -hmm. while Ty and everybody else works for high works. Yeah, you know, at high for school, life, yeah, towards college because they're growing up. They have to focus on their lives more. Yeah, and it's kind of like well, if you are Digi Destined and you help save <laughs> the digital world and. You know, you could do all these things, yeah. and then you have to focus on Your yeah the work. normal life. Yeah. Like, what do you do? Yeah, he, I think yeah, Ty definitely become more like a normal, average yeah. people, and like yeah, especially Ty because like in the end of season two, they made Ty a lawyer for some reason. Like Wait, he, what? Not a lawyer, but he worked. 
he was like a representative for like the UN or something. Yo. And like that came out of nowhere. It's like, yeah. where did that come from? Because Matt always did his band. Sora, mm-hmm. you can see she's getting into like fashion, things like that. Oh, yeah. Joe always wants to be a doctor. Izzy, uh, you know, a yeah. programmer. Mm-hmm. Mimi, probably also fashion or something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Like, he always, like, somebody always had something. Ty had soccer, but he never, you never yeah. really thought, like, that was more of a hobby than anything else. Yeah. So it was like, what's Ty going to do once he starts growing up? Mm-hmm. And they kind of focus on that part, which I liked. Yeah. I think one of the major things that causes Ty to panic and, like, worry about this destruction is that, like, in the first two seasons, they're in digi- uh, digital world, right? Yeah. Oh, it's some, a- sometimes they are in the real world. Oh. So, yeah. like, yeah, in the digital world, it's, yeah, it's kind of like, what damage could they do? And also, yeah. Yeah. You also, it was, the digital world was kind of almost destroyed at the same time, so they were, everything they did was to help fix it. Yeah. And then, when they, in season one, when they went to the digital world, they, mm-hmm. I think they kind of, all first their kids, mm-hmm. so they wouldn't be focusing, like, oh, on the destruction. Yeah. And they kind of got away with that, too, because... <laughs> they made a point that like every, all the adults and everybody in the city was captured mm-hmm. and put in this one location so no matter what they did like they weren't hurting people they were just you know destroying the buildings and everything yeah, yeah but with this like Ty sees like oh these people are getting hurt these buildings are getting destroyed and then when he fights with Greymon there's even more destruction oh yeah which so what what you think about that like Ty yeah, it, it, yeah. it was an like an interesting aspect they introduced into the new uh, season, but like it's kind of it's it's kind of it starts to get pretty a little bit okay a little bit annoying when they, they keep on repeating his flashback on the collapsed yeah, bridge. That was I was weird. like, come on, Ty, you, you gotta do this. Yeah, like I understood where he was coming from because after the airport, like everybody starts blaming all the Digimon. And it's like, yeah. well, we caused all all that destruction, and I understood that. Like me and Alan talk about this after after he finished Mm -hmm. like I understood with that part but I agreed more with Matt and how Matt said well if we don't do anything there's there's gonna be even more destruction yeah and I think it's cool that Ty like thought about like oh well if we keep fighting we're gonna cause destruction Mm -hmm. and that we shouldn't do that but I agree more with Matt but well if we don't they're gonna cause more destruction true because like for example Quagamon he was going after Ty and whether he fought or not there's gonna be a bunch of destruction Mm mhm but then when Omnimon and Alphamon that was going on, like, Alphamon was causing a lot of st- the destruction, mm-hmm. and Matt's trying to tell him, hey, let's fight, let's fight this guy, but Ty just won't do it. I was like, come oh, on, yeah. like... You gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you have to fight this guy. Yeah, and then the last moment, when uh, when uh, Omnimon has his cannon, like, like point blank on yeah. Alphamon, yeah, that was I awesome. think it's partly because, like, I, f- I suspect that it's because of uh, uh, Tai Chi's, like, sudden like like regret about like his huge discretion like you can see his flashback and then he, he, he can um, but is that what caused like Elfman to escape that's I, what so I it can be three things it could be that um, that the cannon was just charging and he escaped mm. or it could be that Ty's hesitation like linked with Omnimon yeah and caused him to hesitate because it, it was kind of more like Matt and Ty's yeah. interference that oh, caused yeah. Omnimon's Digivolution, so that kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. Or maybe also because you have that really good scene when Ty is talking to Agumon mm-hmm. oh, ab- yeah. about like the destruction. Like I just don't know what to do, and Ty- yeah. like Agumon's trying to comfort Ty, but he doesn't know what to do. Oh yeah. You can also see like, oh well, maybe like Agumon remembered that, mm-hmm. like how Ty doesn't want all this destruction, oh. and maybe that's why he hesitated. Yeah, because you can see like the the Agumon's face, like mm-hmm. really part, like it kind of fades away into like sp- yeah. yeah. I f- is that the reason? I'm not sure. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. But mm. in terms of Matt, like, Matt's, Matt and Ty have always been foils to each other. Like, oh, yeah. Ty's always been, like, the headstrong guy. And Yamato has been like, oh, let's think about this. We, mm-hmm. we gotta stick together and do all this. Mm-hmm. But it was interesting because it was the opposite this time. Where Yamato's like, oh, we, we, like, we gotta fight these things. Like, mm-hmm. this is what we've been doing. And Ty's like, well, maybe we shouldn't. Mm-hmm. And Yamato or Matt, I'm switching names yeah, every I time know. I talk. He's like, okay. "Well, what are you, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, we gotta fight these things." Mm-hmm. And I've always thought the relation, their relationship was always really cool. Mm-hmm. And then I think we'll go into this right now. Just all the character interactions there. I think they were as good and as memorable. Oh yeah, like before because 
Agumon has always... I don't think Agumon has always had, like, the best character. Like, I couldn't tell you what oh, his yeah. character is. He doesn't, like, have, show his emotion a Yeah, like, lot. He, he follows Tai a lot. Yeah. That's pretty much, like, what I can remember from Agumon. Yeah. But in this, they definitely try to give him more character by... True. Still following Tai, but trying to understand where he's coming from. And mm-hmm. Also trying to find his own way, I think. Mm-hmm. For, example, for example, like, Matt and Gabumon. Gabumon's always been, like, his conscience, I guess. Oh, yeah, this Matt. Like, tell like, hey, Matt, you gotta... Stop being, you know, mm-hmm. like an idiot. Yeah, like, you gotta like, talk to like Ta- that. You gotta talk to Ty. Mm-hmm. He did that a lot in season one, and he still did this. Like, oh, yeah. well, I'm gonna go with everybody else. If you don't want to come, it's fine. Yeah. But, like, he's trying to push him to make up with oh, yeah, Ty. Cool, yeah. And then he had the other characters, like Izzy, oh, yeah. Mimi, is, is he Izzy is just, like, the same. He, he, he became better in yeah. technology, I think. Yeah. yeah, but you'll see, like, he's trying to become... He's being more self-conscious, I guess, because you see that he's starting to... Uh, obviously, spoilers. <laughs> you didn't know this. Oh, I don't think we said that, but still spoilers. Oh, obviously, okay, yeah. I put it in the video or whatever. Uh, yeah. But he's starting to get like a little crush on Mimi. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I forgot and, about like, that. Yeah. He's growing up, so that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I thought that was also interesting because it's always been like Joe crush on Mimi. Oh, you Joe. find out Joe has a girlfriend. Yeah, Joe, what the hell? That was really funny. And that whole scene where. Joe is talking about the girlfriend, and then yeah. Izzy is talking, like, about the digital role. Yeah, he's Every, been talking for, a, for, for forever, like, yeah, it's, like, yeah. been five minutes or something, and then suddenly, like, when Joe said, I have a girlfriend, he's like, everyone yeah. just, like, even, even Izzy's, like, yeah, said, like, those kind of scenes were, like, I'm glad it wasn't just action and action, like, we got the characters and their interactions with everybody and the Digimon, like, that's what we love from season one, and we got that in Try, mm-hmm. which was awesome. Mm-hmm. I guess you could say there's more focus on that rather than the action. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's why we didn't get as much mm-hmm. as, you know, we could have gotten. But yeah, true. I don't have any problem with that. Like, yeah. I'd rather have the awesome interactions with the characters than more action. Because we- we'll get more of that, obviously. Yeah. Do, do they already, like, release what they're going to ha- talk about in the next season? Wait, is it called a season or is it the next movie, I guess? Like, like next movie. No, we, we don't know yet. But it's coming out winter 2016, so we'll get that soon. Wait, winter tech 20? Oh, yeah, winter because yeah. it's like, okay, yeah. Or March, I think, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, all the interaction with the characters, like, mm-hmm. you didn't really seem they've grown, but they, yeah. like, their characters aren't like, oh, that's out of character for Matt, or that's out of character for Izzy. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's, it, everyone's, like, their, their own self, like... Yeah, are you really like? It's kind of <coughs> weird how the part whenever like we you, you see Joe like the only thing that comes up in your head is like oh Joe yeah like Joe didn't <laughs> fight he was like doing school but that's what he's always done like yeah even in season even two movie. or in the movies yeah. like he never fights he's like oh he's doing school work <laughs> what is his Digimon's name uh, Gomamon right yeah Gomamon yeah I f- feel bad for him yeah but that was also a nice scene where Joe and Gomamon like oh yeah they, they reunite oh, like, that was oh. that was sweet like I, like Gomamon like is like is able to track it like uh like Joe's home that was yeah. sweet yeah yes I, I really enjoyed all the characters like Matt even though he complains sometimes I loved him in this Mimi nice. even though I, I was never the biggest fan on Mimi maybe. she looks I don't know she looks a lot different yeah compared, she does. yeah but that maybe also because of the American version. Like, I hear they made her a lot more annoying in the American version. Oh, gee, really? Like, they made her more whiny, I guess. Oh. And bratty. But in this, I I thought she was great. Like, she didn't know me once. Like, she, she was awesome, Mimi. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So, overall thoughts? What you think? Oh, yeah. We forgot, we forgot to talk, talk about TK and Hikari. Like, they were pretty good, right? Yeah, they were good. Uh, yeah, I always forgot about TK and Hikari. Um, yeah. Yeah, they were good. Uh, they didn't get that much screen time because was, this was a Matt and Ty thing yeah. but they were they, they were still a good team yeah. like usual Yeah. and TK was a, he's a freaking like he's getting pretty supportive for his brother he and is but he's also becoming like a hipster in a way like the way he was dressing did you <laughs> oh, notice yeah, yeah. like a scarf and a fed- I don't think it was fedora but like a fancy hat oh yeah and he was like he's dating girls like oh Wait, wow like, well, he looks I don't know, I don't know. TK's always been like the coolest character yeah right so I don't yeah, know like, that was weird but I don't think it was out of character it's just that he's grown all right, yeah. So overall, I think we both really enjoyed this, mm-hmm. and so we're just gonna end it right now. Yeah, yeah. Out of time, mm-hmm. so we love Digimon Adventure Try, and we can't wait for part two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's it, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.